Kings and Kings, welcome back to the Glamorous Castle and Decor. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a tour of my master bedroom and how I decorated for the Christmas 2019. Now, in my master bedroom, I did make some changes, not too many changes, as you guys can see a little bit from the background and everything. Um, just a little bit of updates. Uh, I'm still working on certain things, but I did think it was video appropriate at this moment because you guys know I can change my mind plenty of times about what I want to do. Do I want to go this style and this, that, and the third? So as you guys can see, I do have the teal in the bedroom. So now let me give you all a tour. King. So as you guys can see, I have made some changes in the bedroom. Not too many, but it does jazz it up a little bit. And I love the way that it looks. Certain things I will be changing again. I know I am. I'm still working on some other things, but I will tell you all what they are in a moment. Okay, so we're going to start here. Um, the curtains are from... Tuesday morning and all I did just put my little curtain rod up there and as you guys can see it's still gold so I still do have some of the gold popping out through the room but I put more of the silver in here as well but I just want a little pops of the gold and I'm just loving the way how this look as of right now now over here on this side of the bed which is my side obviously um, all I did was place this mirror here that I got from Lowe's which I think I'm going to be doing some more changes to it, but I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing to it is that as of right now. And as you guys can see, I just placed some little bling up there, which is from Totally Dazzle, you know, just to cover the edge. So I'm thinking I want to do something like that, but I'm not sure. And you guys see I removed the lighting that I had over here, which I think I'm going to go back to. But right now I am filling the ones that I did have in the living room. And for my mirror side tables, I just changed the color of them. I painted them silver, that platinum um, metallic silver that I did for the um, the bar cart. And that's pretty much it. And besides putting the lamps over here, but this is all what I have done so far. You guys know the bed still the same. and nothing really change about that. Only thing change is above the bed. I put my little DIY... Um, canvas art up there and as you guys can see I still have the little hooks where the hanging chandeliers was at I'm still keeping them because I'm not sure if I want to take my hanging chandeliers out or keep the lamps in I'm not sure but right now I'm loving the look that I do have um, so I did place that above the bed now moving down to the bed um, as you guys remember in one of my vlogs if you guys follow the vlogs so that I put up on Sundays this comforter here came from Walmart the teal comforter and I still have my little gorgeous pillows there that I got from Tuesday mornings the not Tuesday morning TJ Maxx the little teal and cream pillows there and I put my little deer head punk how about I say deer head punky <laughs> sorry my deer head pillow there that I got from big lots so I'm liking the way that that looks I really do like the way that looks and I just layered the bed with, you know, the sheets, then a duvet, and then the comforter. So the comforter make it look more romantic, looking, make it look more full, you know, more luxe and more just soft and comfortable, in which it is. It really is. <laughs> so I do love it. Now here I just have my little DIY tray that I spray painted in silver, and I have my little deer here. I'm not even sure where this deer come from, but it's here here and then I just have this little container here that I just have some treats and some Hershey's kisses for the queen and the king and the master and just a little um faux throw there you know just to soften it up a little bit more now moving down to the foot of the bed I have my ottomans here that I got from Ross now they did not come with the bling in them I did put the bling in them if you guys seen one of my revamp videos that I did um I will link that if I remember to link it so you guys have to hold me to it because you know I fall behind on actually linking a lot of things but I tried my best and I just put my little faux rug down here which you guys have seen this rug plenty of times all over my home plenty of times so yeah and my husband's side is the same side you know same thing on his side just a little bit different just a picture of him and I 
over here and I do have these acrylic reindeers on each side of the bed this is pretty much it oh and that canvas there came from I think Burlington with the lips on it that came from Burlington so this is pretty much it and the faux fur pillows here the furry pillows are DIYs just some old pillows and got some fabric from Hobby Lobby and I just made me some 20 by 24 I think or 26 um, inch pillows and I just throw them on the bed so that's pretty much it there this section here I really love it I really love it you guys see my husband did mount the TV on the wall if it looked crooked it is crooked because I don't turned it and did something and now I don't loosen a screw up so forgive me for that but um, on top of the console which I made out of our TV stand here I just have my little jars or containers that I got from Z gallery my dears from big lots and then my little DIY candles holders that I use totally dazzle bling and I will leave totally dazzle down below because I am affiliated with them all so if you guys want some type of bling affordable bling I will leave it down so you guys will be able to get you some and I just changed the diamonds on it and put the gold just to bring some of the gold over here just enough and then I have my Z gallery mean boxes here and this Merry Christmas sign that I got from Hobby Lobby so that's how that is and I am burning peppermint something from Bath and Body Works twisted peppermint which just smell very good it's very good and then I have the same thing going over here on this side with the bigger jar and on side of the TVs I just have these little sconces that I got from the Goodwill just to bring some of the gold over here which I love it because they have like that ornate look and that's what I'm really trying to go for in my room with the side tables as well as this console table and then I have the floor lamp here that matches the other two lamps so moving on down below that and as you guys can see I have painted this as well with that same paint now I promise you guys I will leave that paint down below I did get it from Amazon it was no more than seven dollars a can so if you have Amazon Prime you'll get it within two days I believe so moving on down here I just have some little decorative balls this little shaker as you guys can see I love the little perfume ball container that's from Z gallery so I have a lot of it going around the room then my little decorative um, perfume ball is on a tray then my books and then my book ends that I made out of Z gallery book ends that I was returned to me and these are pepper salt shakers that I put on there so some more of the little perfume theme and then those poinsettias I got from Walmart about three years ago so moving on to my gorgeous tree okay now for my tree I'm loving the theme of it loving the look of it is like a fairy tale romantic look that I was going for with all the flowers and everything on there and then as you guys can see if you guys notice I do have like a theme going on besides the colors I do have a lot of this bling script so it matches the pillows it matches the deer so it matches even my tree topper and this tree topper came from big lots as well and I just throw some more greenery I'm talking about greenery faux flock <laughs> branches and a poinsettia and some flowers just for it can tie in the whole look which I totally love. Then I have deers as ornaments on there. Then they go a hanging perfume ball of ornament. So you guys see that popped around the room as in with the ornament there, the little shakers, the book in, and then the bank that's behind me. So I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. A lot of the ornaments are very affordable. Um, the flowers came from Michael's, the little frosty flowers, which I totally love. Those ornaments came from Dollar Tree. These came from Big Lots, I believe. The bigger ornaments here came from Dollar Tree. The gold ones came in a container from the at-home store. This little uh, funny shape ornament came from the Dollar Tree, but I love it. I love it. I really do love it. 
And these little snowflakes here came from Big Lots as well. Then I have another Lady Snow from the Dollar Tree little wall decor that I took off. And then down here, my little Christmas presents that I did put some ornaments on for the little bow. So this is it, Queens and Kings. It's it for my Christmas Master Bedroom home tours slash update reveal. I hope you Queens and Kings enjoyed this video. If you all did, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Share the video as well. And subscribe if you are a new Queen or King. Just stop it by browsing to see what I have going on. And if you do consider to be a part of this castle, go ahead and hit the um button that says all. So therefore you'll be notified each and every time that I upload. <laughs> because I do everything that you could just about think about up under the sun. So with that being said, Queens and Kings, I will see you all in the next video. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I love you all and continue to.